What if I were to tell you that it's possible to make over $10,000 per month online with a completely remote business that allows you to work almost anywhere in the world, even from the comfort of your own home? At this point, you're probably saying, Matt, I don't believe you. I need proof and I don't blame you at all. And in this video, I'm not only going to show you this side hustle, but I'm gonna actually do it in front of you live. So the side hustle is called being a niche YouTube channel operator. Now this is a lot different than what you're probably thinking when you hear the word YouTube. This doesn't require you to show your face, get on camera, or even record any videos. Now this isn't going to be like other videos that talk about how to make money online coming from people who never even did it, just making videos in order to get views. I'm gonna be showing you a real side hustle and you're hearing this from someone who actually does it. In fact, I've gotten a gold play button for hitting over a million subscribers on one of my faceless niche YouTube channels. The concept is actually very simple and it's probably been under your nose for a long time. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever watched a YouTube video in which the person running it didn't show their face? Think of like top 10 videos, commentary videos, tutorials, news videos, and explainer videos. Chances are you've seen tons of YouTube channels doing this, but you had no idea of how much money they could be making and how they're actually doing this. In fact, the chances are pretty good that you've watched one of my own YouTube channels or one of my 5,000 students' YouTube channels because we're behind some of the biggest faceless YouTube channels out there. And you probably had no idea that it could just be some 22-year-old kid behind the YouTube channel. And I actually started doing this when I was just 14 years old. So let me break down this business model for you. Basically, what you do is you find ideas and then you find and download videos, you repurpose them and you upload and repeat. Now the reason why this in my opinion is the number one best side hustle out there is due to the fact that you can start this with no upfront cost or investment. And this is exactly what I did when I was a completely broke high school student just copying what I saw other people doing on YouTube and at the time I didn't even know that you could make money from this. And when I learned how to turn this into an income generating machine I was making $10,000 per month before I even finished school. And today I make over a thousand dollars per day doing this. Now at this point, you're probably asking, Matt, how does this even make money? Well, it's actually very simple. Advertisers put ads on your videos and you get paid every single time an ad is seen on one of your videos. Then a company called Google AdSense, which is affiliated with YouTube, sends you a check every single month depending on how many views that you got. So subscribers, likes, and comments don't matter. All that matters is how many monetized views you got per month. And when you upload a bunch of well-optimized content following specific formulas and modeling what's working, then all of your videos will begin to feed each other and it can compound exponentially. Now at this point you might be saying, Matt, I still don't believe you on this, I need some examples. Well this channel right here is called Brainy Dose and they get over 4 million views per month. Now you might be saying, Matt, that's great, but how much does that actually equate to in terms of money? Well, I would estimate that this channel is making around $5 per thousand views, which would equate to over $20,000 per month just from ad revenue on this channel. And now a lot of those views on that channel are actually coming from old videos that they uploaded years ago. And that's the beauty of this YouTube business is that it's incredibly high leverage. You upload the videos once and they theoretically live on YouTube forever into the future. In fact, I still get paid every single month from videos that I uploaded back in 2014. And then imagine when you get to the point of having hundreds of videos up and you have multiple channels all giving you money every single month to do whatever you wanna do with in your life. And to demonstrate this point, even here on my personal channel, Make Money Mad, I sometimes don't upload for months, yet I still make six to $12,000 per month just from ad revenue on this channel, not to mention all of my other channels where I do upload more regularly. Now, Body Hub right here is another YouTube channel in the health niche that also gives Gets millions of views per month just uploading health content. Now at this point you might be saying, Matt, that's all fine and great, but I'm not a video creator. I don't want to get in front of a camera and record videos. These videos must be hard to make. And what kinds of videos are these channels uploading? Well, the channels that I just shared with you are uploading what are known as stock videos. These are videos that you can download for completely free from websites like Dareful, Pexels and Pixabay. Now, if you just download and upload these clips as they are to YouTube, you're not gonna get many views. And that's why we have to add value to them. And we do this by either educating or entertaining in the form of a voiceover. Now, at this point, you might be saying, I understand the theory behind this, but I need to actually see somebody doing this step by step. So like I promised you, I'm gonna actually be doing this live in front of you right now. And step number one is to choose your niche. The best niches, in my opinion, are related to health, wealth, 
psychology, and relationships. And there are also what are known as high CPM niches, which are essentially categories of content that make more money per thousand views. And I'll flash up a bunch of high CPM niches on the screen right now. So feel free to screenshot and come back later. So since I'm gonna be doing this live in front of you, let's choose a niche together. Now I'm personally pretty interested in psychology. So let's go with that. Now to confirm that this is in fact a good niche, we have to follow a quick checklist. Number one, go to YouTube. Number two, confirm that there's channels getting at least 500,000 views per month. And we can check this very simply with a completely free Chrome extension called vidIQ. And we need to make sure that there are individual videos with over 100,000 views each. Now the psychology niche checks off all of these, so we're good. And if you need more niche ideas, you can check out my video talking about the top 24 best niches on YouTube for faceless channels, in my opinion. And I also have a video about 20 niches that don't even require you to talk. And links to those will be in the description. Step number two is to make your channel. Now, if you're already subscribed, to channels then you already have a YouTube account and to make your channel just click on your profile picture and click create channel you can name it whatever you want now if you need help coming up with a YouTube channel name you can use this website called the Shopify business name generator go right here and enter some keywords related to your channels niche for example with psychology I can just put in psychology right there and then click generate names and this will generate a bunch of great potential names for our YouTube channel. But before we choose one, we need to make sure that it's not copyright and it hasn't been used. And for example, I really like this name, Psychology Shark, right here. So first, let's check if it's copyrighted. Now to check if it's copyrighted, we can go to this website right here called the Global Brand Database. And right here, you can see the URL to that website. And then we type in our channel name idea, Psychology Shark, and click search. As you can see, it'll find companies all around the world with similar names. Now, I could only find companies with the name Shark, but I couldn't find any that said Psychology Shark specifically, so we're good there. And now we wanna make sure that we have a good profile picture, and we can make one really easy using this free website called Snappa. If we go to the website and then scroll down and click this one that says profile picture, then it will be brought to a bunch of different templates that we can potentially use. And any of these honestly will work good. Let's just say we wanna choose this one right here. Then all we simply do is we can edit the text to say psychology and then shark, as you can see and we can space it out to center it out. And boom, there we go. We have a profile picture literally within a couple seconds. Then we just like download web optimized JPEG and then boom, upload it to our YouTube channel and we're good. Step number three is to get ideas. Now to find ideas, what I like to do is to go to Google Drive, click new and then create a Google document. From here, we can just simply call this video ideas. And then from here, what I like to do is go to YouTube and just search my niche, for example, psychology and then i recommend going through here and opening up all of the big channels that are uploading videos related to psychology and then go to each of the channels go to their videos tab and click most popular these are going to be the videos that we're going to want to recreate so now i'm going to go ahead and write down 33 different video ideas And boom, I just got my 33 video ideas right there. Only took a couple minutes. Step number four is to make the videos. To do this, we simply write a script giving value. Now I'm gonna be doing a video called how to read anybody instantly. So all I do is I copy this, go to YouTube and then paste it in there. And here are all the videos that come up. From here then, I open the top three videos. And from here you watch through them, and I like to do it at two times speed to get through faster. And then you write down the best points from each video to make your video the absolute best video. Now you can also use reference articles online for research as well. Just go on Google, search the term, and see what comes up. And we also wanna make sure that we write it in our own words, and I'm gonna show you a software that can make sure you do that in just a second. But first, I'm gonna go ahead and write this script. And in order to do that, I like to just use Google Drive, click new and then open up a Google Doc. And if you prefer to talk rather than having to type out your whole script, then you can go into here into tools and click voice typing. And then you can simply talk and it will write out what's being said. And boom, right there, I got the script written out as you can see right here. From here then, what I like to do is paste it in this website called wordcounter.net. 
This will not only show you how many words that your script is, but it will also show you how long the speaking time is estimated to be. The reason this is important is that we want to shoot for our videos being longer than eight minutes because then we can put multiple ads on our videos and you can make more money. Then after that, I go to another website called copyscape.com and I paste the entire script in right there. From there then I click search and this will show if our script is at all copied from other places on the web. And this is what we wanna see, no results found. Then what you do is record your voice. Now I'm simply going to be using the built-in recorder just directly on my cell phone. Cell phones are so good nowadays. I used to do this even back in 2014 when I was first starting my channels. And it's totally okay if you make any mistakes, just redo that part and move on. So I'm gonna record the script right now in three, two, and one. When you first meet someone, it can be hard to know what kind of person they are. Now check out this video right here, which shows you how to stop worrying about stuff in your life. And boom, we just got that recorded. Now we can simply save that voice recording right there. We got it saved and it is done. Then you find what videos to use. In order to do this, we go through our script and we see what's being talked about. And then we search it on free stock footage websites and download the clips. And you can also use photos as well, either one works. And just to give you as much value as I possibly can, here's a giant list of different stock photo and stock video websites. Feel free to screenshot this so you can reference it later. So let's do this together. I'm just gonna simply use my cell phone for this and we can just go to websites like pixabay.com, for example, right here. And from here then we can select videos because I want to primarily use videos for this. And then we can search what is being talked about in the script. So for example, in the beginning of the script right here, we're talking about people and how to read people. So we can just simply search clips of people and then click search. This will show tons of free videos of people that we can actually use. So if we scroll down right here, we can try to find some clips that make sense. I'm looking for one of some people talking because I think that is pretty pertinent to this video, such as this one right here, it looks pretty good. Then we can simply click this green button that says free download. And I recommend selecting 1920 by 1080 and then selecting download. From there, it will download the file directly onto your phone or you can do this from a computer as well. And now I want a couple more clips, for example, people talking and we can scroll down, find some more clips of people talking to each other. For example, this one right here, we can click download and just do 1920 by 1080, download. There we go, we got another one downloading. Now let's find yet another clip of just talking. We'll search and we'll see what comes up. Click go, we can find some, for example, this one right here, download, download. Now I'm simply gonna go through the rest of the script right here and download a couple videos for each of these points that we talk about. And it's totally okay if we don't download enough because we can always download more. And if you can't find the right clips on one website, feel free to check all of these other websites right here as well. And now it's time to edit this all together. And you can watch me do this live just using my phone. Now you don't need any expensive video editor to do this. If you're using a computer, you can use completely free video editors like HitFilm Express, OpenShot, Shotcut, iMovie if you're using Mac, or the PowerDirector app if you're using a cell phone like I'm gonna be doing right now. So in order to do this, all we do is we download the PowerDirector app onto our phone. From there then we can just open the app right here like so, and then we select this button that says new project. From here, we can name it whatever we want. Now this video is called how to read anyone, just like that. And then we select 16, nine for the aspect ratio. From here then we can import our videos. So we can simply select all the videos that we had downloaded from those websites. Just select every single one of them right there, as you can see. And then we click next right there. And then it's time to import the audio. So we simply select audio at the bottom and then select music and then go to my music, go to voice recorder, and then you can import it just like that. So now, as you can see, our voice is on the timeline as well as these videos, but the order is not correct. And also if we made any mistakes, we can correct that right now. And it's actually very easy to do. So in the beginning of this, we can simply start playing through it right here to see what's being talked about and then put the clip that most corresponds to that. But before that, as you can see, there's a little bit of space at the beginning right here. So all we have to do is take the edge and then trim it so there's not any blank space and it gets straight into it. So now let's play through and then we can move it to the beginning, play through and hear it. When you first meet someone, it can be hard to know. So I'm talking about meeting somebody. So let's go through 
and find one of the videos about meeting somebody. For example, this one right here, so we can simply take the clip, drag it over and put it at the beginning of the video. From here then, we can play through it, and as you can see, it makes a bit more sense now. When you first meet someone, it can be hard to know what kind of person they are. Are they trustworthy? And then I like to only have each video play for under five seconds long because this will increase your audience retention because people will watch more if you're switching up the clips that are being shown. So to stop this clip from being shown, we simply click it and then we select split right there. And then we click to delete the remainder of that clip. And then we can find another clip to put directly after that one. For example, it would make sense to possibly put this one right here. So we'll drag that and then put it directly after this one. And what's very cool about this is that as you can see between these two clips right here, there is a little button. And if we click it, we can actually add what is called a fade. So the clips fade into each other and then we can select how long it should be. For example, we could just select 0.3 seconds and then apply that transition. And now here's what that looks like. It can be hard to know what kind of person they are. Are they trustworthy? Can you be friends with them? Or should you keep them away at all costs? just like so. And then we can just simply repeat this process going through, making the clips shorter than five seconds each, putting clips that correspond to what is being talked about. And I'm gonna finish doing that right here. And another thing we can do right here, if we download a vertical video, just like this one, and there's black bars on the sides, we can actually select that video, go down here, scroll over and click fit and fill, and then select fill. This will actually make it bigger so it fills up more of the screen and we can just put it just like so right there. And now another thing I recommend doing is adding what are called titles on the video. In order to do this, we can simply go to, for example, when the title of the video is being spoken within the video. That's one point in which I like to do that. And in order to do so, we find the point in which we want to put the title and then click text right there and we can select any kind of text that we want. Typically, I like it to have some sort of border on it so it's easy to read. So we'll do this one right here and then click add and there is the text. Then we can simply tap to edit the text to say what we want. For example, this video is about how to read anyone instantly like so, and then we just click the check mark. And we can also click enter to add a line right there to space it out. Click this to center it right there. We can bold it as well to make it a little bit easier to read. And then we can simply position this directly within the center. I think that looks pretty good right there. Click to accept. And now we can take a look at what this looks like. Easy ways to read anybody instantly. And that's what we're going to be going over in this video right here. And then as you can see, we just go throughout the rest of the video. I'm gonna keep editing. So there we go, I just got through editing this video right here. And now what we want to do is export it. And this is very easy. All we simply have to do is go to the top right right here and click this button. From here then we can select the resolution. I recommend selecting full HD 1080p. Keep this standard, frame rate 30, that's perfect. And then simply click produce. This will start to produce our video and we simply have to wait until this is fully loaded. And then we have a video that's ready to be uploaded on to YouTube. And like I said, the beauty of this is that you can do this completely by yourself in the beginning, upload these videos by yourself, start building a backlog that has the potential of paying you money for years into the future. And boom, it just finished right there and we have a video that is done. Let's take a look at this video and what it's actually like and what we just put together. When you first meet someone, it can be hard to know what kind of person they are. Are they trustworthy? Can you be friends with them? Or should you keep them away at all costs? Well, it turns out there's actually some super easy ways to read anybody instantly. And that's what we're going to be going over in this video right now. Let's get into it. Number one is eyebrows. The next time you're talking to somebody, pay attention to their eyebrows. If somebody has their eyebrows raised, it typically means they are uncomfortable in some way. So as you can see, we just put together an entire video, literally just using our cell phone. It's a lot easier in my opinion to use a computer, but this just demonstrates 
what's possible. Now, step number five is to upload and optimize. All you have to do is fill out a title. I recommend making your title a little bit different so you're not directly copying somebody else's title. And then we need what is called a thumbnail. A thumbnail is simply a cover image for your video and we want to entice as many people as possible to click that video. Now to make a thumbnail, we can simply go back to Snappa and then we select YouTube thumbnail from the different templates they have. From here then we can start creating our thumbnail. So I'm gonna go create one from scratch with this right here and we can find an image to use in our thumbnail again on pixabay.com. And for example, what I like to do is to look at other videos that have succeeded that are similar and see what they did for their thumbnails. So for example, how to read anyone instantly, seven psychological tips. This is pretty good. The thing about thumbnails is that you want it to be easy to read, keep the words to a minimum, keep the primary elements, meaning in this instance, the people in the thumbnail to a minimum and create some type of intrigue or curiosity. With the arrow pointed towards that guy's eyes right there, it creates curiosity and I wanna know why that arrow is pointed towards his eyes. So we're gonna do something similar. If we just search person right here on a Pixabay, we can find an image of someone, for example, this one right here. Right click, copy that image, go into Snappa, and then we can simply paste it into Snappa. Or if we want, we can also click background, go to photos, search the images, just search person right there find a good picture of a person. For example, this one right here, this will import the image and we want that to then be as big as possible. So we're going to increase the size of the image as much as possible right there. Click apply. From there then we want to add some text on it so we can click to do so and then do read anyone instantly like so. Change the color so it's easier to read just like so. We can add a little bit of a shadow if we want right there make it even bigger, let's say 130. And then now we can add, for example, an arrow right here, and we can find it easily within Snappa just by searching arrow. I'd prefer a red arrow, so let's do that. And then we can select it right here, and we can change the color then to red, have it pointed towards the eyebrows, because we do talk about that, that in the video. And boom, just like that, we have a thumbnail. Now, in order to see if it looks good, I always like to zoom out as well to see if it looks good, and you can read it very easily, even when it's very small, and this one, you can. Step number six is to now post 30 to 60 videos. Don't be sad if you post 10 videos and your channel doesn't take off. It usually does require a bit of a backlog before your channel will take off. But trust me, it is so worth it when it does. I thank my past self every single day for taking action when he did and making this become a reality. Because when you get 30 to 60 to 100 videos on your channel all feeding each other, these are essentially digital assets on the web that can continue to pay you for years into the future. And here's a bonus tip to make even more money. If you go to websites like Digistore24 and and clickbank.com and then you go navigate to the marketplace section then you can click the category of the niche that your YouTube channel is in then look for a product that's related to your channel's niche and click promote then you simply put this link in the description of all of your different YouTube videos every time someone buys from this link you will make money and typically channels will make more money doing this than just from ad revenue alone but both streams of revenue are definitely nice to have now check out this video right here of some of the best niches to do this in i show you exact example channels and case studies and exactly how they're doing this and how you potentially can too check out this video i know you'll get a ton of value from it thanks for watching my name is matt parr and i'll see you there